Lovers. Today I'm talking about Posh Life. I am talking about five tips to get started making money on Poshmark. So I officially started poshing probably in January of this year. This is 2019. So January 2019, I officially kind of actually started trying to do this probably more seriously in February, but I thought I would just give it a try and see what I can do. I have two children, and so I have a lot of kids' clothing, and my child, my youngest, she grows out of clothing so quickly right now, and she's transitioning into early months, and I uh, decided to, well, some of her stuff still have tags on them. Even my son grew out of shoes like that. I just decided to try something else than consigning because consigning you really don't get anything maybe five bucks for like a brand new clothing item which is insane but i understand on poshmark there are definitely ways to make money so i decided to really look into it and it was a lot of work to try to figure out how to do it but i read up on it i looked at youtube i i tried to really figure it out for myself and from then i've been able to make some money so i'm going to share with you how I became a Posh Ambassador in, well now it's April, so in a couple months. Uh, I finally became Posh Ambassador yesterday morning, so it was super exciting. So I saw this was one of the, uh, another way to make money, doing this YouTube. So I decided that that would be a good idea since I already slightly have a platform. So this is five tips to get started making money on Poshmark. So these are my ideas of what I found important to me as a seller. So one, packaging. How you present your items do matter. I personally have loved shopping on Poshmark and I enjoy getting items because I like to see what other poshers are doing with their wrapping and what they're doing with their cards and what they're kind of, are they wrapping them in bows or if they just doing regular tissue paper and I, I don't really care, I'm just so excited to get the item. But what I found to be helpful is giving your own signature touch to it, like whatever that is. Mine is these uh, notepads of like a selling item. So I'll show you that, here it is. So these are just super cute to me that you actually like write, you know, their actual name on Poshmark. Then I write my name on Poshmark, Stylishly Lynn, and then I end up writing their item and how much money it was. And if they ended up getting a discount, then I actually like minus that and say, show them like you got a discount. I gave you this much for this item, which shows them that like they really actually did score. And then I give them their total and I just tell them, thank you for shopping. Come again, shop stylishly Lynn. So I think it's kind of fun. Um, and then I add my business card with a little baby clothespin. I think it's just a super cute touch. So here it is below. I personally just use tissue paper. That is just what I've decided to use. However, if you are wrapping things in a one of those just plastic bags, I ended up buying them on Amazon for super cheap, but very cute bags. Here it is. I always still wrap it with tissue paper. It's still very important to show that extra effort. I know it takes a little longer to do this stuff, but this is your business and you just want people to feel good about getting that item, especially if you have heels. I just finally sold my pair of Lauren by Ralph Lauren black pumps yesterday. They are in mint condition. I was super excited to finally sell them because they're amazing. And I ended up putting them in a big box, a shoe box, size and I ended up um, wrapping it in bubble wrap okay I literally wrapped each shoe separately in bubble wrap taped it then wrote wrapped tissue paper around each shoe as well to me that's important the stiletto you don't want it breaking you don't want anything to come between the shoe and anything that's happening through USPS point solved. You want them to get their item completely intact. 
bubble wrap. Bubble wrap, things that are important, like your heels. Okay, I just sold these today, and honestly, the best thing to do is bubble wrap them because you do not want the stiletto to, to break, first off, and you just want to make sure they're in great condition as you scent them, as they get them in the same condition. You do not want anything bad to happen. Box. I did a bigger box than what I probably could put them in, but for me also, it's just about making sure that they have room so that they are um, not too tight in the box and when they get sent that they don't get, uh, get ruined. So that's my idea on packaging. My next item, create great photos. Lighting is super important. When you're creating a listing, you need to make sure that you have lighting. Lighting's so hard sometimes. I understand like in your house, you don't always have really good lighting. This is my kid's room. So I have good lighting right now, but honestly, only two places I do is this room, our bedroom, because it has two sliding glass doors and that light does let in, but it's only certain times a day. So it's really hard to decide when you need to take your photos, but it's really important to take the photos. I finally broke down but I've always wanted one. And I finally got a mannequin. And I've been able to put the clothes on the mannequin and for me, that's just an exciting thing. Plus the mannequin for me is an art piece in the corner. So I'm able to go on Amazon, buy a mannequin for 38 bucks and bring that in and be able to use it each and every time I have an item of clothing to display correctly. And for me, it's very important to get the front of the item. And I have a mirror, which I end up getting like a side shot, which I'll show you here. And then I ended up turning around, getting the back of the item. Sometimes I'll give you a shot down from the front down, especially if there's any detailing. Sometimes I'll pull out the arm and show you the arm. It just depends really what it is. Always get the tag if there is a tag. Sometimes there's no tag. But also if there's any stains or marks or tears, you have to show that kind of stuff. It's very important that you show everything. And then also just write it in the description. The last photos circled sometimes i'll just take the marker thing and i'll circle each one so that you guys can see it in the photo like these are the ones or i'll point with my fingers to show you the stains um, whatever it is i end up writing in the description so there's no confusion and there's an understanding why maybe it's a little less than it normally would be um, and sometimes those are just like offered up items like people just offer you money on them and then you could kind of just take them take notes for me, it's important to just be mindful of what is selling, what is not selling, what are other postures doing to make their sales. Sometimes it really is just a game of like cat and mouse. Like you have no idea what your buyers are looking for. And honestly, sometimes it's just such a hardcore hit and miss. Like no one's ever visited your page and all of a sudden you wake up one morning and something sold. And you're like, I don't understand. Like this person really has never frequented my page. They didn't even like the item. They just literally just bought it. It's very confusing sometimes and I have not fully grasped it all, but it is important to check out other Posh Ambassadors. These people that already have like 100,000 people following them, take a look at what's going on with them. Take a look at their listings. I understand. Maybe you can't afford to really go out and buy anything really expensive for yourself just to mark it down. Going to outlets and buying that kind of stuff. I understand like you might not have the capital to do that yet. And for me, I don't either. I made a huge mistake going to Goodwill and buying things. Some of them had stains. I thought some of them were pretty good items and they're not really now selling as what I thought they would. And now I'm not really going to make any money off of them. Bad idea, but good for me to know. I bought probably about 10 items there and I thought they were great stuff. It's not that they aren't great stuff. It's just that I possibly didn't really know what I was doing and I probably jumped the gun a little bit. That's another thing. So just make sure you kind of pay attention to everyone else and what they're doing and kind of base a little bit off of that, but just be yourself and be your own closet because whatever you have going on and someone likes it or someone's buying, then that's what you have going on. Just make it your own because this is truly your business. It is very important to share and follow. Follow people back. I know you're not going to get everyone. Sometimes you just come in so quickly that you're like, oh my gosh. And some people you're already following that haven't followed you yet. And I understand it's, it's hard sometimes, but share. 
If they share your item, try your best to go back and share one of their items. I think that's so nice when they end up sharing, especially when it's on a like special day, best in jeans, best in sweaters. It's super cool when they share your jeans or they share your jackets. I think it's so cool to go back in their closet and scroll through to try to find that item that's best in for that day. And have fun with it, honestly. I mean, it's a business for me. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm a stylist in real life here in San Diego and I help designers with their styling for either their runway shows or their photo shoots. So I personally have fun with it because it's just something that I get to do on the side and I had to get my children's clothes to resell or my own clothes that I'm just kind of tired of things in my closet personally. And then I get to find new finds, which is so exciting. I found some amazing pieces and I actually want to like do a whole video on just those pieces that I found because they're just super cool and I absolutely love the pieces I found. Some of them don't even fit me yet because I just had a baby nine months ago. So some of them don't even fit me yet and I have to now work to get into these items. But honestly, Poshmark is a very cool app and you guys need to download it now. So I put my link below so you can go to it and you could get $5 off your first item. Isn't that exciting? $5 off your first item. So download Poshmark app today and follow my link below to get your $5 off your first item. No matter what you do, have fun. Do you, because that is the most important thing is do your life, do your closet, whatever it is that you love to resell or love to buy, do it. If it makes you feel good and it's within your means, that is what's most important. Definitely download Poshmark today and this video is sponsored by Poshmark. Bye guys.